Hey everyone, Michelle here from Level 28 Media, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a deep dive into location targeting settings. I've already done a few videos on this, but this video is gonna be a little bit more advanced um, because I've actually been reached out to several times by multiple clients, um, and I feel like this is definitely a video to address because sometimes I get um, clients or potential clients saying, hey, I'm in, let's say, Los Angeles, but I'm getting phone calls for people in Seattle or Portland or even San Francisco, I don't service those areas. And if you're a service provider and you're running Google ads, I know that every single dollar counts and you don't wanna be wasting your budget on leads outside of your targeted area. So I'm gonna talk about why this might be happening and I'll also be talking about how we can go ahead and mitigate um, targeting some of these areas or accidentally getting clicks from outside of these areas. Um, so the first thing when it comes to uh, location targeting and why you might be getting phone calls from outside of your targeted area is because your settings are incorrect on your campaign. This is typically the number one reason that I see, but um, let me go ahead and show you. Um, so first, when you're in your Google account, you will want to go to settings and there's a little tricky button in here that you might not have realized as you were setting up your Google um, account. And under locations, let's say you wanted Los Angeles and you think that selecting Los Angeles was enough um, because you only service the Los Angeles area. Well, there's a button here under location options that's a little tricky. And pre so essentially they give you two options. This is the recommended option by Google, which is not what you would want to choose, especially if you are a local um, service provider. Um, so presence or interest, this is what Google will default you into. And then the other option is presence, people in or regularly in your targeted location. So I'm gonna quickly um, describe the difference between the two. Uh, the first option, which is the general option that Google will opt you into, people in or regularly in or who've shown interest in your targeted locations. So this one is tricky because these are people in regularly in Los Angeles, but they could also be people that would be living in Seattle or Portland or somewhere in New York City that might be interested in the service within Los Angeles. Um, so they could be from out of the geographic area, but maybe they've shown interest in the service within LA for some weird reason. I don't know how they would be able to, um, but I've seen this happen. Um, so we don't really want people who've shown interest in your targeted locations um, because th they might be outside of your geographic area. These could be people in Canada, they could be somewhere in Asia, um, and we don't wanna be getting those types of clicks. So just as a FYI, this one could be capturing people outside of your geographic area. So typically I like to choose presence, people in or regularly in your targeted locations. Um, so people in, they could be residing in the location um, in which you service um, and then or regularly in your target location. So these could be people that commute to the area that you're targeting. So maybe they might be, you know, living in, uh, they might be living in Orange County, but then they commute to LA in order to, you know, do their job. So someone that lives in Orange County that commutes to LA, even though they live in Orange County and they commute to LA, they would still fall under this presence area. So therefore it might not be exactly, and it's never gonna be exactly um, precisely targeted. You're probably gonna be getting some people outside of your geo, um, but this is just a way to get things tighter in terms of getting um, ideal clients that are in the area that you're looking for. So that's the first one, wrong location settings under location options. So go ahead and check your campaign and make sure that you have this one selected. If you are targeting a specific location, this is gonna save you a lot of money. Um, so that's that. The second thing that I want you to look at and something that could be triggering this, um, getting leads from outside of your targeted area, 
um, could be uh, people that might be in your targeted location, but they're searching for services outside of your targeted location. So say if you are a, um, say if you own a hospice care um, facility, but um, you are, there's, there's someone that's in your targeted area of Los Angeles, but then they're looking for a hospice care facility for a loved one in Portland. Well, the issue is that they're in LA and you're in LA, you only want LA clients, but then this person is actually searching for a loved one in Portland. Um, so what's gonna happen is they might be typing in hospice care in Portland, um, but then they might see your ads appear if you're using phrase match or broad match types of keywords. Um, so the way to go about mitigating this is actually to create a negative keyword list of out of geo locations. So what I like to do is create, um, I like to create a list of cities um, or areas outside of my geographic area because if I cannot serve these cities, um, then therefore we're wasting our budget. So this is a little bit tricky because there's how many cities across the US that you might not be able to target. Um, so would you proactively sit there and go through a list and then just add them or would you wait to see them appear in the search um, terms report to then add them as negative? So what I like to do is I like to pick the bigger cities um, that we don't service add them as negatives um, and then if I see some junk coming in from the search terms report then I'll go ahead and block it out. So that's the second reason why you might be getting phone calls from outside of your region. Yes these people might be in your region but they're interested for services outside of your region. So you know it could be someone looking for services in Las Vegas even though they reside in let's say Los Angeles um, but they're looking for services for a loved one. Um, it happens um, and it's definitely something to pay attention to. If you're getting too many of those, you need to add negative keywords. Uh, something else that I um, wanted to address is just in general, when it comes to location targeting, another reason why the location targeting might be, you might be getting phone calls from outside of your region is it could just be a Google error. Um, there's really no real reason beyond that. Uh, sometimes Google's not perfect and unfortunately, there's gonna be no real way to like monitor it exactly because we don't have the information on the back end to see. Um, sometimes Google, um, you know, their system is wrong. Uh, so that's just one of the things like, even though you might have a really strong negative keyword list, you have the right settings in place, Google can, certainly get things wrong and accidentally put you and serve you in the wrong place. What I have seen some pay-per-click marketers do and some business owners do is they'll use um, exclusions within their campaign. So as you can see here, we added exclusions across all the different states um, so that at least we block all of these states from even having a chance to appear um, so that could be something you might think it's overkill. Sometimes I think it's overkill, but if I'm getting too many phone calls from outside of your ge my geographic area, I'm going to do what I can to save budget. Um, so this is what I've done is just completely blocked out all these other states. And even though I'm only serving a tiny, tiny area within LA, I could be still getting phone calls outside of LA. Um, so if you really wanted to, you can just block out and exclude areas outside of LA. Um, but since doing this, I haven't had any issues. Um, so if you really wanted to go even more extreme, you can block out entire California outside of LA. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, so unfortunately you can't block out um, outside of a radius. You can only block out like cities and states, zip codes and stuff like that. So that would take me a really long time because California is as big as a country. <laughs> but essentially this is another tactic that can be used. 
Um, so that's pretty much it in terms of this video. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you need any help with your location targeting or need an audit for your uh, uh, local lead generation account, um, certainly reach out. Check out the description below to reach out to me and contact me and I'd love to have a conversation with you. Um, but yeah, this is definitely um, an issue that I see a lot of small businesses that run Google Ads face. They're just getting phone calls from outside of their region. So hopefully some of these tips were helpful and I'll see you in the next one.